Hello, my name's Barry Ennis and I am one of the career coaches here at NABS. And I wanted to spend some time thinking about how we can build really good rapport over video conference. We're now arguably more connected to our work colleagues than ever before. With hourly Zoom calls, team meetings and WhatsApp groups, our connection possibilities are endless. But in our recent industry wellbeing check-in survey, we heard that for a lot of us, building and maintaining rapport in these digital connections can be a challenge. So I wanted to share my top three tips to help build genuine rapport over video conference. Number one is your real life. We are all now broadcasting live from our bedrooms and our kitchens and our sofas and our gardens on a daily basis. Suddenly, our most private spaces are visible to people who would just say a polite hello to a photocopier. It's important to remember here that we are all in the same boat. It's not just you trying to organise your backdrop to make it look more professional. We are all doing our best. My tip here is to make space in your meetings to acknowledge the reality and the surroundings that the people you are meeting are in. Don't be afraid to share where you are working from today and who is around. Remember, this is not you being unprofessional. This is you responding to an unprecedented working environment with authenticity and integrity. As well as creating a sense of psychological safety for those you are meeting with, you also have this new opportunity to learn more about the people you are used to spending every single day of your life sat next to. You now have the opportunities to show interest and compassion to your colleagues in a way that was never possible before. This is an opportunity to build long lasting rapport in ways face to face just didn't quite allow. Make time at the start of each meeting to check in with everyone on where they are, what distractions they might have today and give permission for this as you're in the same boat. Share what your environment is today to help others feel comfortable to do so. This is a brilliant icebreaker and a great start to building rapport in a digital meeting. You could ask, where is your office today? Who painted that picture behind you? Can I say hello to your doggy? Number two is distractions. So building on the honest transparency of your new working environment comes the transparency around the other creatures roaming around your new office. Whether that be family, animals or housemates, some of us have been thrown into a shared office with our nearest and dearest and quite often they are sat opposite you or banished to the bathroom while you're in this important Zoom meeting. That's on top of the doorbells, the washing machines and the random clattering of others in the kitchen. Again, my tip here is to be open about the reality to your other virtual team members. If you're hosting a meeting, Give the permission for others to be around and for some distractions to take place. Acknowledge who is about and whether they can hear the content of this meeting. And are they wearing headphones? Is this a private and confidential meeting where the content needs extra planning? Maybe we need to do this meeting somewhere else. We are all in the same boat here and a lot of us have other people with us at work right now. We can't and shouldn't deny it. In fact, if the formality allows, why not introduce your partner, your flatmate or your furry friends to the other attendees while you're checking in and setting into the content? Plan a few extra minutes at the beginning of your Zoom meeting to allow for this extra important rapport building time. More now than ever is it important for us to feel connected on a more human level. And finally, I want to remind you that video conferencing isn't the only way to connect with people. Good old telephone calls allow for a different kind of intimacy and also privacy, as you obviously don't need to be seen. Be open to offering up numerous ways of connecting to others that may be more supportive to their home environments. Telephone calls or instant message can be just as useful and allow for a more relaxed and at ease connection. When more relaxed and at ease, your chances of building rapport will generally be increased. I hope you found these ideas useful and obviously do check on the NABS website for all the different ways that we can support you right now. Thank you.